Today the topic is on tree diagrams in probability, questions which involves no replacement. Now let us try to do this question. A bag contains six red marbles and four blue marbles. A marble is drawn at random and not replaced. So this is something different from the earlier questions. Here the marble that you take in random is not replaced. That means you don't keep it back. Now the first draw you can take either a red or a blue marble from the back. So the probability of taking a red will be 6 out of 10. Why? Because you have a total of 10 marbles inside the back. In that case the probability of taking a blue is 4 out of 10. Now you have to realize that uh, if you look at both the branches the sum of uh, the probability should give you 1. See here 6 over 10 plus 4 over 10 gives you 10 by 10. So that's where the probability is 1, 100%. Moving on to the second draw. Now you have branches. Either you can have a red and a blue again or you can pick a red and blue again. So these are the two uh, these are the four branches that you can have for the second draw. Now talking about the condition where your first draw was a red marble, in that case your bag will have one, two, three, four, five red marbles now. Why? Because the first marble that you have taken is not replaced into the bag. So here you had six, now you have just five. So five so the probability of getting the next red would be 5 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The total of marbles inside the bag becomes 9. And this is the meaning of not being replaced. So the marble that you have drawn in the first one is not being put back into this bag. Now the probability of getting a blue. So you have 5 over 9. So the remaining is a 4 over 9, which is true because you haven't taken any blue marbles yet. So the remaining 4 blue remains there inside the bag. Now talking about the condition where the first draw gave you a blue marble, then you can see that you will have one less in the total of blue marbles and you will have all 6 of your red ones. So the probability of taking the next blue reduces to 3 over 9 and the probability here so 9 you have 3 remaining is 6 over 9 which is the probability for the red which is true because 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have all the 6 marbles remaining and the total is reduced to 9 so I hope so far the concept is fine moving on to the third draw you can draw the branches first and again the outputs are red and blue, you mark them there. I'm sure by now you must have got the pattern where after each draw the total is reducing by 1 and uh, every time an R, a red ball and a red marble is picked, the total of red marbles is also falling. So here it was 6, now 5 and then now this becomes a 4. So 4 over 8, the remaining probability is again 4 over 8. In this case, you have the probability for blue is 4 over 9. So the next probability for blue will be 3 over 8. Here the probability of red is 6 over 9. So the next probability for red will be 5 over 8. And... Uh, here the probability of taking a blue is 3 over 9. So the next probability here is going to be 2 over 8. So once you have one of the probabilities found, it's easy to find the other because you know the total. Here it's going to be 5 over 8, 3 over 8 and here again it's a 6 over 8. 
So this is how you can complete the tree diagram and then you can think about uh, finding the probability of drawing uh, three red marbles, no red marbles and all these questions from your tree diagram. Now it's time to highlight the output across each branch. So if you look at the first branch you can see this is the branch giving you an output R, R, R that means all uh, red marbles. If you look at another branch, you can see from here it falls like this and here the output is red, red and blue. It's just the order in which you get uh, each marble for your outcome. Now looking at this branch here, You can write the output here as R, B, R and here it's going to be R, B, B. Again from this branch and here the output here is going to be B, R, R and here it is B, R, B. And coming to the last branch here. The output here is going to be B, B, R and here you have B, B, B which is all blue marbles. Now from the tree diagram let us start finding the probability of these events. First question, find the probability of three red marbles. So you look into your tree diagram and see where do you have three red marbles. So this is where you have three red marbles. So now we will talk only about this branch. So uh, you have all three red marbles. That means along the branch you multiply the probabilities because it is all and condition. So 6 by 10 multiplied by 5 by 9 multiplied by 4 over 8. So this is going to be the probability of getting all reds. You can write it as a fraction 120 over 720. Part B, 2 blue marbles. So where do you have 2 blue coming in? Look at the B. Okay, you have 2 B here and you have 2 B. So in this branch the probability of getting uh, red and 2 blue is equal to 6 over 10 times 4 over 9 times 3 over 8 which is equal to 72 over 720 and here the probability of getting 2 blue and a red is given by 4 over 10 times 3 over 9 times 6 over 8 which is again a 72 over 720 and the third branch that has 2 blue and 1 red is here so let me highlight that branch here it's a blue, a red and a blue so the probability of B R B is equal to 4 over 10 multiplied by 6 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 8 which is equal to 72 over 720. So the final answer here for the condition of the probability where you have 2 blue marbles and 1 red is given by the sum of all the three probabilities here which is the probability of RBB plus the probability of uh, BRB plus the probability of BBR which is 72 over 720 plus 72 over 720 plus another 72 over 720 or you can just multiply 3 times 72 over 720.
or 0 0.3. Moving to part C, probability of no red marbles. This is the only branch where you have no red marbles. They are all blue. So the probability of no red is the same as probability of all blue, which is given by 4 over 10 times 3 over 9 times 2 over 8, which is equal to 24 over 720. The last question, part D, is uh, the probability of at least one red. So the least they are asking for is a red. That means there can be two reds or three red. The least is one red. So this is what you have to find. And which is clearly visible. You have three here, two, two reds. One red, two red, one red, and again you have one red here. So you need to calculate the probabilities of all these events, all these outcomes. So rather than calculating all these separately and adding them to get the final answer for the probability of at least one red, uh, it is enough to subtract from one the probability of all blue. Because the sum of all the probabilities here is going to be equal to be 1. So to find the probability of these many events, I will just subtract uh, 1 minus 24 over 720, which is the probability of all blue. So your answer here is equal to 696 divided by 720. So that's it. If you have further questions, please use the chat.